All right, good morning, teacher. So uh, this is, I guess, a review on how to lock an image on Google Slides. Uh, Ms. Quintana and Ms. Saya Layandia did an amazing job yesterday. I don't even know how to follow that. So uh, you open up a new slide, a new tab, you type slide.new, that's a shortcut for you to open up a blank new slide. And while this loads, let me show you that I already looked for some of the images that I wanna use. Uh, I just copy paste to my uh, desktop and they're ready, ready for me to use. So while this loads, I don't need this. And I'm recording this on Screencastify. If you guys have uh, any questions after you know the presentation or during, in between the video, I can I can answer some of those. So I'm going to get rid of this highlighting. Okay, delete. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and just drag and drop from my desktop the image that I want to use. I like this image because I can use it for different units, this Freyer model, very handy. Of course, you can change this. I'll show you in a second, just like I wanna change uh, the word work, no pun intended. So shift command four, and I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, take a screenshot of that part that's gonna be here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add it on the top of the word work. Okay, now this is how I want my slide to look. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to um, download PNG image, current slide. Again, you go to file, download PNG image. So I click there and that's gonna create a, a picture of that slideshow. It's right here, okay? So I'm, I can now get rid of all this, have my blank slide and I click on background. Okay, you can change color, but we wanna change the image. So click there, it'll take a second to load. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna drag and drop this right there, okay? So we'll give it a second. If we try to drag it before it loads, it's just gonna open up the image on a new tab. So I think it's ready. So I'll pull it right there. So done. So there it is. Okay. So now I need to finish one more thing. I want this to be ready for my students uh, to be ready to go. So I'm going to add text box. So I'm going to add the text box, resize it for this, copy, paste the same size. So I just drag and drop. Uh, the one for image, picture example, I leave it like that just because I uh, let the students add either a picture from, the, from Google or just draw. Okay, that's always fun for them. So I leave that one blank. It doesn't need a text box. And then one more for this. That way it's ready for me to edit. Okay, so you see those boxes are there for them. And, uh, you know, great uh, tip that, Miss uh, Quintana, click here. That way they know these are editable, editable. So, and then what I do is I click right here, duplicate slide, and I duplicate three or four or five. That way I have them ready. And then I make a copy from this document and I can go back, you know, for every unit and photosynthesis. I can go back and I can just add the words for, for that specific uh, unit, okay? And this is something, you know, that you can start building your slides toolbox and just reuse, recycle some of these slides, okay? So that's one. Again, I usually have this. I have my original and I just have like, uh, I know I have 20 seconds. Duplicate slide, duplicate slide. I have, you know, about five ready to go. And then I just edit the words that I need for my specific unit. Okay, so hopefully you can use uh, this in the future. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and...